Hey, this is Matt McLean, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use MuseScore to build major scales and actually hear them back played by an instrument. So before you get started, uh, you might want to pull up an image of uh, the keyboard and staff with notes on it. This can be really helpful, and I have it uploaded in the module in Canvas. So I'm just going to leave this up, and then I'm going to get MuseScore going here. This is version 3.6.1. And I'm going to create a new score. And this is just a test, so I'm just going to call it ASDF and hit continue. And then for the sake of this one, uh, just because a lot of the uh, music that we're working on in this class um, and moving forward in the music theory classes, if you're a music major, that is music one, two, and three, um, you're going to be looking at the grand staff a lot. So I'm going to click on the grand staff and hit. Um, I can hit continue or I can just hit done. Um, but if I hit continue, it gives me option for key signatures, which we get into in the next module. I'm actually going to hit, uh, just go with no key signature here, and I'm going to use sharps and flats to build my scale. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to try to build, I don't know, something with a bunch of flats in it, maybe, for starters. So um, what I'm going to do is build a, how about an E flat uh, major scale? So if you look down here in, on the keyboard, E flat is going to be our starting note. And then as the Connect for Education text has shown us, uh, the secret um, Da Vinci code for building major scales, ascending major scales, is whole step, whole step, half step. And whole step, whole step, half step. They're two tetrachords. Um, so the first tetrachord, and they're separated by whole step. So the first tetrachord is going to be whole, whole step from E flat. So we start on E flat. We're going to go whole step to F whole step to G, and then a half step to A flat. And remember, for any major scale, you always have one of each letter name. And um, it, especially when you have a lot of sharps and flats, it could get a little tricky if you're just looking at these notes, because obviously these black keys here have two different names. So anyway, let's get started and drop a note into our score here. To enter your notes, you can click on this little note button here, note entry, or you can hit N is the shortcut on the keyboard. I'm just going to use quarter notes. We get into rhythm and these note values later, um, but faster notes are over on the left, slower notes or longer notes are over here on the right. So a whole note here. I'm just going to use a quarter note. Uh, I'm going to drop an E flat in down here. And the cool thing about MuseScore, there are many cool things, but one is it gets like the length of the note uh, head the note stem right gets the note heads shaped properly the rest are shaped properly it's this is an engraving program it makes it look pro um, so i'm going to make an e flat once i enter that note that's just an e um, i click on it and that makes it e flat and then i need to find my next note here so up a whole step is f so i'm going to drop an f in up another whole step so whole step whole step to g drop a g in and then i'm going to drop and what is half step from G up to A flat. And to flatten it, I, you can just hit the little arrow key. So up arrow will go up chromatically, uh, down arrow will go down chromatically. There are a couple of interesting things here. One is if you're on, uh, on an, um, this is a G here, and you go up a half step, it'll go to um, G sharp. And G sharp is actually, this is the note, this is the key that we want, but we want to call it A flat. So what you, if you want to turn, turn this into an A flat, you go up to A and then come down to the flat. So if you go, watch this, if you go up, it only adds sharps. And if you go down, it only adds flats. So that's a, a good way to control things. So here's my first tetrachord. So, uh, and again, the second tetrachord is, starts a whole step above it, and it does the same pattern. So this is a whole step, whole step, half step, starting on B flat. So I need to drop a B flat in here, hit my down key to turn into a flat, whole step up to C, whole step up to D, and then the half step to E flat back home. And I'm going to use my little down key here. Boop. And then the cool thing is I can hear this back. So I'm going to go up here and hit play. There's our little major scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, going right up here. Um, you can use that same tetrachord pattern to build descending um, major scales. It's just reverse. So it goes half step, whole step, whole step. And then it's linked by whole step, half, and it goes half step, whole step, whole step. Um, and that's it. But like I said, it's really helpful to have a, a screenshot of 
the keyboard with the note names, especially when you're uh, just getting familiar with the names of the notes on the bass clef here. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, at first, eventually your brain just gets sick of having to look at these and move these windows around. You start memorizing things, and that's when the magic really happens. Um, but that's it. This is just like a little sandbox. You can have fun with um, music or, I mean, technically you could write a symphony and give people all the different parts. Um, it actually has templates for full symphonies and stuff. And you can play all sorts of different instruments, not just piano. You can pretty much do anything with it. And it is free, it's cross-platform, so if you have a Mac or Windows, it works. I know people have uh, Chromebooks from school. Uh, w there's another program, Note Flight, that works on the Chromebook and you can do exactly the same thing. Um, the key shortcuts and, and the little buttons up here are a little bit different, but the that what you actually do with it is really exactly the same. And again, the really cool thing is you can hit play and hear it back. So as we move forward in the class, um, we'll have some other little fun things you can do and maybe turn in as projects. Definitely by the end of the semester or session, you're going to be doing a creative project that's putting together a chord change and writing a melody, but that is many modules in the future. So right now, just get your feet wet in here and it's a sandbox, just play around. Um, you don't have to turn anything in um, in this module using this program, but I think it can be really helpful and hopefully uh, a fun eye-opener. All right, see you soon.